Serena or Usagi-chan, you're going to need your anime contact lenses. She has blue eyes, and these lenses will not only make your eyes appear bigger, but reflect more light, like real anime eyes. Next step, don't forget your skincare regime. I use Iku Acne Serum every time. Usagi has blonde hair, and in anime, sometimes she has black or blonde eyebrows. Since we want to capture her innocent look, use Ash Blonde Eyebrow Pencil and fill in your natural brows. Make sure they're not too skinny. The skinnier your brows, the older you look. The fuller, the younger. Babies don't pluck their eyebrows, that's why. Now it's time to get your anime nose. Anime noses are tiny and pointy, virtually invisible sometimes. So contour. I'm using a flesh tone color eyeshadow that's matte, but a few shades darker. This will create the illusion of shadows. Follow your natural shadows on your face. This will keep it more natural looking. Until you've reached the right shade, blend and shade to blur the harsh edges. Time for meatball head. Tie your hair up and wear your wig cap. Wear a flesh color cap since her hair is blonde. Tuck in all stray hairs. Here's the wig. You can either make your own, and there's lots of websites I can show you how, or buy one on eBay. We're going to move on to the hard part, drawing anime eyes on your face. So you use a real good liquid eyeliner. The skinnier the brush, the better. Remember, this may take a few tries to get right, so be open to making mistakes. I did too, so it's okay. So draw a line and extend it further than your usual eyeliner look. Start creating more line weight. Skinnier in the front, thicker around the back. Like was Similar to drawing anime eyes, create that edge like I just did. Now retrace the line from the front to the back and create a more dynamic line weight. This will give your eyes more depth. Time for the bottom lines. Draw it a little away from your natural lash line and keep the line real thin. Don't connect the lines, keep it separate. This will create an illusion of larger eyes. Now, I found this part the hardest, creating your bottom lashes. You may do this a few times to get the right look. So create your lashes, keep them simple, not too long, not too short, long enough for people to see. Now repeat the same look on the other eye. Try and keep them looking similar. Check each time you create a stroke. Try looking at a bunch of Sailor Moon or anime eyes and study them. You're kind of transferring that look onto your own eyes. Try and keep one image around you for you to look back on. As you can see, I prefer the right eye more than the left eye. So I'm going to remove the bottom lashes on the left eye and recreate another lash. This looks much better. So if you want change, don't be afraid to change. Draw the lashes. Make sure it's even on the other side. Also, draw the lid. This will emphasize the look of the eyelids and really give it that graphic feel. Apply pearl white eyeshadow inside the lines. Think of it like coloring a book. The reason why I didn't apply eyeshadow before is because you have to think ahead. If you make a lot of mistakes, you have to remove the eyeshadow and the eyeliner. Since I made a few mistakes, I'm glad I didn't wear the eyeshadow prior to the eyeliner. Using white eyeliner, apply it along your waterline. This will make it look bigger and wider. Also, apply white cream eyeliner inside the space we created. This will really make your eyes look bigger, more anime-like. Now fix any mistakes, redefine any lines. This is the finished eye. Looks very anime-ish, right? 
Take the same shimmering pearl eyeshadow and apply it on the nose bridge and your cupid's bow. Also, apply it along the highlights of your cheeks. You want the high points on your face to reflect light. Apply a soft pink blush on your cheeks. So smile real big and apply it along the apples of your cheekbones. Usagi always has this beautiful glow to her and you want to recapture that. Now finish off with pink lipstick. Something really pretty that's not too loud or too soft. Gloss on the bottom lips to give it more shine. Transformation time! Moon Prism Power! Also, this is optional. Add cheek marks. Sailor Moon has these cute markings on her cheeks. This will really complete the look. I am Sailor Moon, the champion of justice. In the name of the moon, I will right wrong and triumph over evil, and that means you. Now you are Sailor Moon. I don't think my kitty would have liked a sticker on her forehead, so I have a Hello Kitty Luna instead. So cute. Better yet, a monkey in the closet, Luna. Much more sinister. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Good luck. Music is by Dee Roberts. Let love begin, and I believe. Have you ever dressed up like a superhero when you were a child? You'd wear the towel as a cape and felt so strong. Nothing could hurt you. You were invincible. Makeup is similar to a superhero costume. After you wear it, you feel more confident and strong. Sometimes it's your alter ego. Whatever it is, you feel stronger. I feel like every girl has a Sailor Moon in her. Sometimes you may feel like you can't reach your dreams because you're held back by people. Or maybe you're waiting for someone to accept you for who you are. Don't wait. Don't wait for someone to tell you that you're allowed to be who you are or do what you want. If you're waiting, you've waited far too long. Life is too short to wait on your dreams. Chase them now because there's nothing more fulfilling than doing what you love and being who you are. And if you're scared, imagine you have a superhero costume on. You're invincible. Nothing can hurt you. Don't wait for the world to accept you. Stop dreaming. Only you can make your dreams come true.